Hey YouTube, Captain Tech here. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your iTunes music to sound better. First off, this works on Windows and Mac, so uh, let's just go right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up iTunes. Now if you're running Windows, you want to go to the top of the iTunes and there's going to be an edit button, like this one over here. You're going to click on it and there'll be a drop down and then you're going to select preferences. Now if you're running on a Mac like I am, you want to go to iTunes and then click preferences. Either way, you want to get to the general preferences. And the window should look something like this. Now we want to go and click on playback. And then we'll see sound enhancer right here and we want to click that checkbox. Now we see a little slider here with low to high. Now if we go to the high uh, section, your music will sound clear. Whereas if you go to the lower section, your music will sound more muffled. Now personally, I like my music to sound very clear, so I'm going to go underneath the high section. Uh, right about there is fine. And then I'll hit OK. So that's the very first way to make your music to sound better in iTunes. The second way is by going to Window and then clicking Equalizer. Now by default, it's going to say flat right here. And if we click on it, there'll be a whole list of uh, presets. Now we could go ahead and choose a bunch of presets like acoustic, bass booster, dance, electronic, hip hop, R&B, rock, etc. And um, you could choose one of those. And as you can see, it changes over here. It changes all those uh, things, all those dials. Personally, I like acoustic, so I, I like my music to sound very clear. So I'm gonna choose acoustic. But I also like to have a little bit, uh, a little bit more bass in my music. And generally, if you look over here, around the 32 to 64 range, that's really where a lot of the bass comes from. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to, I don't want to have too much bass, but I'm going to increase it, say to there. So I'm going to increase both of them. And what I encourage you guys to do is just play around with this, find what you like, test it out with your music, and uh, find out what works for you. So I hope this video helped you guys. Um, if you're awesome, click that like button. And please don't forget to subscribe. We have some uh, iTunes 11 tutorials coming out uh, next month. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on those. Once again, this is Captain Tech. Thanks for watching.